Hey everyone, it's Tony from Parent Square here, welcoming you to this video on Post Basics. Posts are the cornerstone of Parent Square communication, and they're a great way of sharing out everyday updates, announcements, and celebrations from classrooms, schools, and districts. With posts, we can promote upcoming events, schedule appointments, ask for volunteers, wish list items, and so much more. They're customizable, flexible, and oh so easy to send out. Follow me as I log into the platform as a teacher to build out a simple post using text, a picture, and a calendar entry to promote my school's royalty day. From my web browser, I'll make sure post is selected in the left side navigation bar, and then I'll click new post at the top of my center feed. As a teacher, I can send a post to my class and any other groups I have posting permissions to. Users may see more or fewer options here based on their permissions. I want to invite my second grade families, so I'll choose my class here at the top. Next, I'll choose who gets to see this post. By selecting staff and parents, all of my second grade parents, as well as any connected staff like aides or assistants, will see this post. And schools with student square turned on will have a third student option here. Now we'll type a post subject, something short, informative, inviting. There. Any text, pictures, or other media are entered here in the description box. I'll paste in some text, and now I want to select some of it here, and I'll choose bold here for emphasis. You'll want to check out all the cool formatting options in this toolbar. I could send this post to my parents right now, but I want to add a picture from last year's event. So I'll create some space right here. Then I'll choose the insert image icon from my toolbar. Now I'll find the picture on my desktop. And while it's uploading, I'll grab the corners and stretch it for some size. And there we have it, looking good. Now let's add a calendar entry so our parents can add the event to their digital calendar. It's super handy. We're going to click calendar entry in the left side navigation bar, then choose the date from the pop-up calendar. We'll input our start and end times, and underneath, we can set this as a repeating event. We can ask to send the reminder out one to three days in advance for our parents, or we can ask for RSVPs. I want to send a reminder, so I will leave this selected. ParentSquare will automatically translate posts into your user's preferred language. If you'd like to see or even edit those translations, you can click this green Edit Translations box here, scroll to the top of your description box, and you can choose to either see or even edit the different translations in here. Notice the Notification Options box in the upper right. By default, posts go out at users' preferred times either instantly or all at once in a digest at around 6 p.m. Post authors like you can override users' digest settings and send to everyone instantly, but this should be done sparingly. Clicking the downward facing arrow next to post now will give us some options. Here, we can either post it right away, schedule for it to go out at a later date and time, save it as a draft and work on it later, or we can see a preview to get the parent perspective. From the preview screen, we can also send ourselves a test. I like the way that my post looks, so I am going to hit post now. I'll get my parents' delivery statistics, and I'll hit post now again. And Once sent, users will be notified by text, email, or the app, depending on their preferences. It's important to note that although we encourage all of our users to register their parent Square accounts, those who don't will still be notified and sent a unique link enabling them to read posts in their entirety. Now let's see what our post looks like in the app. Because we added a calendar entry to our post, our parents can download it to their own personal calendar here. They can also scroll down, show us a little love by clicking appreciate, and they can add a clarifying question in the comment section. It's important to note that by default, comments are private among the author, any post admins, and the writer of the comment, so parents will not see other parents' comments. Now, back on over to our teacher account. After a post is sent, the author can click the gear icon in the upper right corner to edit, send an update to, duplicate, or delete a post. They can also click here to add an admin. Post admin have the same rights as if they had written the post themselves. 
They can read and respond to comments, and they'll get a daily activity notification if parents RSVP to a post. Those are the basics of posting in ParentSquare. To learn more about posts or anything else ParentSquare related, click the question mark in the upper right of your screen. Here, you can search our super comprehensive help articles, see what's new, or kick some questions to support. This is Tony saying so long. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon here at the Square.